Okay, Judy, we are working on tango number three. We're going to finish up line one. Uh, last week we did the pickup measure, and then measure one, two, three. Oh, no, I'm going to sneeze. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. We did the pickup measure, measure one, two, three, four, and we're going to start on measure five with the triplets. Sneeze. <laughs> All right, so the rhythms here are triplets. Triple it to and. That's what we're looking at there. Triple it to and. Now remember, the way you can kind of think about triplets is they're faster than eighth notes, slower than sixteenth notes. So eighth notes are one and two and, and sixteenth notes are one e and a, two e and a. Triplets are in between. Triple it, triple it. Okay? Up top we have this for the first part of that measure. We have triple it, triple it. Triple it to and triple it to and okay. Uh, remember your right hand's going I M I M I, which is a little weird. Like that. Triple it to and try that a couple of times uh, and see how that goes, and then add the pinch. Triple it to and triple it. When that feels good, add the measure before of it, before which is the end of what we did last time, which would be okay, one and a two and triple it two and okay. Um, so now we're gonna we we have that we have the pinch in both of uh, we have the pinch in there, um, but it has the one and a two and and then we're gonna pinch triple it two and my right hand did the wrong thing that time and you start on I here okay so if you make sure that you start each measure in the right I or M you should be cool when you put it together it should be intuitive after that okay the next measure is another triple lit two and but we got to worry about I think you, you did this you, you, you saw that it comes from an F chord okay but we we're not going to put them all down at first I don't think that's great because you're going to come out of this and then have, if you went to this chord next I think it might feel awkward so the idea here is to put your ring finger down on F okay and then pinky plays the, the D and then the rest of the mel measure comes, rest of the melody in that measure comes off that um, C, B, A, and the F stay down the whole time. So it looks like this. Okay, your right hand going P, uh, P, M, I, M, I, P, M, I, M, I. I wouldn't even worry about the rhythms. I kind of wouldn't even worry about what your right hand is doing. I'd kind of just make sure you get the notes. And when that feels good, then start worrying about your right hand. P, M, I, M, I. And when that feels good, add the, the, the rhythm. Triple it, trips. Triple it to and. Triple it to and. Okay? When that feels awesome, add the two measures before it. So you add this one and a two and triple it to One. I keep doing it. I keep making it an MI thing instead of an IM. Here it comes again. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, it, it, it is intuitive. Once you put it all together, it's totally cool. you through to the last measure now we're on the last measure of that line um, this comes from an E chord if you put an E chord down now all you do is pinch P and I on the two middle strings okay and then roll P and I together M A thumb grabs the B on the fifth string all right so you end up with but the rhythm is one a two and so it's okay. One, a two, and P and I are pinching. M and A are rolling through. P grabs the B on the fifth string, 
and then I want you to add the last, sorry, the first note of the next line. E. So that's gonna sound cool. Okay, if it helps, add the measure before it. Feels good, add the measure before it. Should probably play it a little slower. And when that feels good, add the measure before it. Keep doing it. I keep wanting to put that M on that measure. Sorry. Because I'm hammering it on. That's what it is. All right. If in this entire video I've been hammering on open to first finger on that, I'm doing it without thinking. That's why. That makes sense. That's way better. Okay. So here's what I want you to do with this. I think if you find yourself on the next to last measure, especially this part, it can feel weird to go from this note A to an E chord now. So I want you to, when you, before you get to that E chord, think of the A note that comes before it as staccato and just abandon it. So it's like this. That will help you get it in time when you're worried about it being in time. All right, I think that's going to be cool. I think it's going to be great. From the beginning. Let me do it again. Have fun with that. You're doing great. Just keep it slow and it should be all good. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.